Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to do audio editing. First off, audio is similar to a video clip, so you can copy and paste like this. Copy and paste. You can also split with S, and you can also click and drag it, similar to video clip. So you can also delete it as this, so it's really similar to a video clip. And I'll show you the difference between what the delete and ripple delete is. So I'm gonna add two audio, two more audio clips. Now I'm gonna delete this one all the way. So there's two, now there's three audio clips, and then I'm gonna zoom out. So what ripple delete means is if I use this. It deletes the tr music track, the audio track, and it closes the gap between the first and the third gap. And if I just regularly delete it, it just deletes it in the middle, leaving a gap. And another thing I want to point out are the audio points. So let me zoom back in. So audio points are what controls the effects of the sound you hear. So to add audio points, so you click here on the track and then you double click here for uh, to make the circle here so this is the audio point you can also right click and add audio point here like this and what they do is they control your level of sound here accordingly so you can make it up higher or lower so the green bar also controls the uh, how loud you want the sound to be so all the way top the volume so increases or decreases and I'll go over to the mix to mono so right here this is the description of the track is you can see for each one so what mix to mono means it means that all the audio source that you're playing they come from one area one source so that's what mix to mono mean and gain also adjusts the volume level and there's also the audio effects that you can do. So over here in the left hand corner, you can click on audio clips. I mean audio effects. And right here there's noise removal, volume leveling, fade in, fade out, and clip speed, which is to increase or decrease the speed. So in order to add these audio effects, you can just simply click and drag them to noise removal. So that removes like the background noises. You can also do fade in. So that means in the beginning, it, the music will fade into the audio. So this creates, this automatically creates an audio point for you, similar to fade out. So it goes like this. I'm gonna play the video for you. So it went from decrease to increase, and similar to the fade out. So it. That ends the audio clip. And to add a clip size, you also do the same thing here. And once you add the clip speed, over here on the right, it shows you the uh, different settings that you can set for clip speed. So for example, I can set this to you know five times the speed. No, five times. And I can set how long the minutes and seconds of frames to be and since I made it five times faster the track shortens up to this much so if I play it a lot faster so I'll put back and one more thing is so another example I want to show you is separating the audio from the video clip so I'm gonna add a video recording earlier so in order to separate the audio from the video so you right click the screen right here and you click separate audio video and video now you have both the system audio that that is from your computer screen and your audio which is from your mic so an easy way to find out if you can edit a audio clip is you click on the audio clip here and on the top left hand corner you can click on modify 
right here tells you all the settings that you can do with this um, video clip or I mean audio clip so you can for this one you can't add animations because this is a audio clip I've selected but you can also definitely add effects like visual effects and definitely audio effects right here and when you can also right click an audio clip to see what you can do with it so for example right here you can add it to a library which saves it to your library right here so you can reuse the track you can also update the media so when you update the media it actually replaces the track to another different track is selected okay so it's telling me that it's much shorter than the original so if I choose to replace it it just becomes a different audio track when you update the media as you can see here on these audio clips they have wavelengths and the wavelengths are pretty hard to tell because they're all quenched up and it's not zoomed in yet so in order to get a better view and understanding of the wavelength you can zoom in with this plus button here so you can see the different wavelengths you have here and you can adjust the track's height so you can get a better view of it too so right here this tells me that the audio is really low so that's understanding because it's in the beginning of the audio track but as we progress this on the wavelength it gets louder and louder until it plays the full track so similar here to this second audio track it's hard to see what the wavelengths are so if we just zoom in onto it we can see what it looks like